Hello everyone. Can you hear me? Hello everyone. It's me, Christine again. It's uh, 11 in the morning and we're going to make ice cream. This is a fun weekend. A little bit quiet. Okay, hold on. I'll boost it a little. There we go, how's that? Welcome on in everybody. Welcome. It's ice cream time. We're having an ice cream social in the chat. Let's go, cause there's gonna be too much for just Ben and I, I know it. I've already invited my sister over later today. I have a friend coming over tomorrow that I'm gonna give like a huge tub to. Already preparing, thinking like we're gonna end up with so much. <laughs> but you know, we'll give some to you of, of course at the end of the stream. How could we forget? the chat anyways where's ben um uh, he's peeling bananas he wish that we're making banana ice cream but we're not i decide the flavor this is my stream i am the captain oh there he is hey ben sorry i'm late i uh you know what i like doing at 11 in the morning sleeping making ice cream <laughs> he was sleeping i had to wake him up you just, you just woke up like five minutes ago you woke up like this All right. Hi, Bald. Welcome on in, everyone. Welcome to the members, the Menchie Gang, and the mods. Menchie Gang stream update tomorrow is our monthly member stream, but it's at a different time than usual. It's at the same time as right now, actually, but tomorrow. So remember that. If you're here now, then you're like, oh, that's convenient because you're up at this time. If you're not and you always miss this one, then you're going to miss tomorrow, but I can't tell you because you've already missed this one. So... <laughs> But yeah, Menchie Gang stream is tomorrow, but at 11 a.m. Eastern, same time as right now, if you're watching live. You were also sleeping? Well, you're, you're awake now. I've got an idea. Breakfast ice cream. What is that? Like cinnamon toast it's in ice cream? Egg-flavored ice cream with cinnamon toast crunch sprinkled into it. Well, isn't ice cream made of eggs? Yeah. I remember. Yeah. I remember. Okay. Would you eat raw eggs? Probably not. Ice cream question. There are two types of people. People who eat ice cream with raw eggs in it and people who don't. Do they know if the eggs are raw or not? Because I'd probably just eat it if you didn't tell me. Yeah, I guess they don't know unless you're making it. You know. You'll know. I know. Are we making ice cream today with raw eggs or no eggs? Uh, I don't know. How, how do you make I, ice cream? I sent you the recipe. You should know. Oh. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. There's no eggs. There's, There's no, no eggs. eggs. There's no eggs. There's no eggs. No eggs. Everyone's telling you to stop. You're obviously lying. I don't know what he's saying. A lot of people eat raw eggs. That was normal for a long time. When? Was that an old wives tale in yeah, like 1992? Yeah, old wives would just eat fucking raw eggs. Fucking like old wives. Them. Old wives and their raw eggs and their laundry hacks. And whatever. Laundry hack. <laughs> I don't know. What else do old wives say? What's a laundry hack? I don't know. Like I don't like when Christine does of... the laundry. Yeah, because I shrink. Could you just clothes. not do the laundry? Okay, but sometimes I would like to. I'll do the laundry. Just tell me you want the laundry done, and I'll do it. <laughs> Why can't I do laundry? I don't like you doing laundry. Oh my god! You put things together that just shouldn't be together. Anyways, so I'm gonna expose you now. So Ben was a professional ice cream maker. I was? Yes. If you remember the time we lived in our condo and you made ice cream sandwiches for a local business and sold them to real customers, like real paying customers. Yeah, you, you did that yeah, for, for a while. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have been doing that. Do you want to describe? No. You don't want to explain? Your, what's your background in ice cream? Let's hear. I don't, I do not recall. Ben! <laughs> I had a, my buddy owned a restaurant. I one came in after hours and I made ice cream sandwiches and he would sell them. Yeah, so you have experience in like a kitchen kind of. I didn't know what I was doing. I haven't been to culinary Don't school. Don't admit I... this. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> you made like how many ice cream sandwiches did you make? I don't know. Do you remember? A few hundred a month, I think. Right, so like hundreds of ice cream sandwiches <laughs> yeah. and you made them from scratch and then you made the cookie too and everything, right? Yeah. And then they were sold in a store in Ottawa, like on a main street. This is a big deal. You're trying to make me sound cooler than I am. Well, 
There's a difference between like just knowing how to make stuff in your kitchen and giving it to your family and like making stuff and selling it to a store who sells it to customers. Yeah, you know what Anyways. I want? I wanted one of those bikes, like a Dicky D. Do you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. Like, you'd hire some kid to go around on a bike selling ice cream out of the back of it. But you never got that. I never know. Yeah, no, he just found like a, a static location to give, to sell it to. Have you Anyways. ever seen Citizen Kane? No. So, uh, it's kind of about how his whole life changed and his childhood that he'd never had and the other life he could have, path he could have taken is symbolized by this, uh, uh, by this sled. And so when he drops the sled and it's like, he says Rosebud, it was the name of his sled. But he turned into some like media magnate and he had some life where he made lots of money but he didn't like his life. But he goes back, he could have, he could have just gone back to that child. For me, it's ice cream. Ice cream. Okay, that's what we're making today. Today we're making ice cream. <laughs> but not just any ice cream. Ice cream inspired by the new Hollow Taco Cookies and Grams collection. So we're gonna make cookies and cream ice cream. Very predictable, but also very delicious. So that's like vanilla, Oreo, put some uh, black flake taco. Oreo. Oreo, what's an Oreo? Okay, not. Do you mean generic sandwich cookie? Yes, that most people use the the O sound. <laughs> okay, not legally Oreo, but looks like a cookie crumble. We'll add some black flag taco in there and it'll be absolutely delicious, classic. And it'll be fun to make because it's like a mix in. It's just, it's just like a topper, you know, you're just like mixing that shit in. Cookie, cookies and cream is like top three ice cream flavors, universal ice cream flavors. Yeah. It is pretty universally liked. I think so, right? If you don't like cookies and cream, go fuck I'll do yourself. a poll. Oh, okay, wow, all right. Hello, my cookies and cream collection was delivered yesterday. Shout out to the warehouse. <laughs> it's Saturday, they're not, they're not working today. <laughs> Will here. we put nail polish in it? No. Uh, no. Yes, <laughs> black flake taco. Do you like? Just a know. yes or no question? Yes, just a yes or no. All right, so. We what's... need a March Madness bracket. That For all the YouTube ice cream YouTube is flavors. not equipped for that. Um, ingredients, would you like to gather? Sugar. Sugar. Here. What do we need? Sugar. Milk. Milk. Get the milk. I've got some tea? homo milk for you. That's teas for me. Homo milk. Do they like not have this in the States? I don't know. Cause everyone in America is always very confused when we say this. I think it's just cause in Canada, like the short form is just, we call it homo. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> cause it's homogenized, but everyone just always says, yeah, it's homo milk, you know? They call it rainbow milk in No, uh, they don't. <laughs> But yeah, do, do they even have 3.25 in the States? Like, I have no idea. It's so weird, they call it full full fat milk, whole milk, I think. It says homogenized, but in Canada, I always knew this to be homo milk. But it's <laughs> 3.25, we call it 2%, well it that's It never different. stops being funny. Yeah, I don't know, it's, it's the LGBTQ2 plus milk, here you go. It's the wrong color, they need to add more. <laughs> okay, whole milk. Kosher salt? Does it have to be kosher? Salt. <laughs> what kind of salt do we have? That's not kosher. What is it? That's kosher. Really? You don't need salt. You don't it need says it. salt. What do you mean we don't need salt? People say put a pinch of salt in the ice cream. It brings out the flavor a little bit more. I don't, we're putting Oreos in here. I don't think you need Okay. This. Whipping cream. This much. Two, two little baby cartons. And then pure vanilla extract, which we actually got from America. So the Trader Joe's? Trader Joe's, yeah. Organic pure bourbon vanilla extract. I drank it also, there's not much left. And that's it? That's all the ingredients to make ice cream? Oh, and then obviously the not legal Oreos and um, cones and stuff we'll do later. That's crazy. That's it? That's it, okay. That's it, that's all. We're, this is eggless, eggless. eggless ice cream. It probably won't freeze the best. But, oh, uh, so what's the difference between egg and like not egg? Does it just taste different or? Egg yolks help with the consistency of the ice cream, make it more of like a custard. 11% hate us today. He hate me. 
There was a football league called the XFL where you could pick what name was on the back of your jersey. And Are you, you telling them or me? I'm telling them, uh, you. Okay. Do I care? Forget about them. Football. Then you could just choose whatever name. You know how usually you'd put like Rotenberg, no. Mazuita? Uh, no, I would never do that. You'd just put your name on the back of the jersey. This league, they let you just put whatever you want. And this guy That's wrote, better. he said, he wrote, he hate me. And they're like, why'd you put that on there? He goes, so the announcer says, they it? hate me. He hate me. Everyone hate me. That's so obnoxious. That person is so annoying. <laughs> Okay, can we make this please? Yeah. What do, do we do? Do you have a measuring cup? In a medium bowl. What's a medium bowl, that? We got, we got a bowl, we need a measuring cup. For how much? So for, One you'll cup? need you'll need a cup for the sugar. You'll want a tablespoon for the sugar. And you'll need a wet, uh, the uh, measuring cup for wet, in, wet for liquids. Not in there. <laughs> Uh, where is that? The, uh, is it down the, there? The glass? Yeah. Where are those? These. Don't we have a bigger one? <gasps> we have an ice cream scoop! I'll save that. We have like four ice cream why? scoops. Well, because of your experience, your professional experience. That's why we have four ice cream scoops. Okay. This is a cup that measures. Okay, okay. so in a medium bowl, use a hand mixer. Just a whisk, you need a whisk. Okay. To combine the milk, sugar, and not salt. So milk and sugar, okay. You hold this, I'll pour. So milk and sugar, milk and sugar, yummy. It's uh, 11 in the morning. Ben is the Ben from Ben and Jerry's. Yes, confirmed, forgot to tell you that. Um. Two tablespoons of sugar. Okay, I'll put that in next, because that would be weird. One and a half cups of homo milk. Hey, what am I? A curler. Bring me your, you're tired, you're poor. What? Who, who am I? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? I'm Ben of Ben and Jerry. I'm, okay, I never met him. One and a half. Oh my God, this milk is so opaque. It's not very milky. That's what you get with homo milk. <laughs> right? I'm like, <laughs> I can't see that. <laughs> That's not Milky Way shimmer. Is that level? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, perfect. <laughs> God bless Simply and her lack of knowledge of pop culture. <laughs> what? <laughs> Probably wasn't that funny anyways. I think they're talking about Citizen Kane. Okay. Um, sugar is two tablespoons. So this is a tablespoon. You, you leave it on your table. One. Okay, whiskey. Whiskey boy. Two. Um, that's Whisk. all you're putting in? It says and salt, but you said... <laughs> How much sugar is in this recipe, Christine? Read it again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One cup plus two tablespoons. Yeah. Whoa, uh, fuck, that's so much. That's a lot of sugar. Oh my god, uh, I thought it was two tablespoons. <laughs> it's this? Yeah. It's ice cream, just sugar. Milk and sugar. Yo, I'm realizing things. I'm like Kylie Jenner. Okay, wait, how am I even- How do you cut a pickle? No, that's the other one. That's Kendall. Oh. Which is the one that looks like a 40-year-old Italian housewife? <laughs> Kylie. That, that's the younger <laughs> one. The younger one? Yes. Mm. I think mob wife is the technical term. Does she have mob wife nails? Probably. Put that away so you can see. Okay, so this whole fucking thing. Okay, whisk, whisk as I pour. You can just pour it in. No, 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 whisk as I pour. Even distribution. <laughs> it's just, it's gonna blend into the milk. Keep blending. Yes, Ben. Make the milk sparkle, make it shimmer. Sugar does kind of sparkle. So does milk and fancy commercials.
All right, what's next? Yeah. Okay, so that is all of the sugar. Holy shit, we're gonna be hopped up. Okay, now cream. Cream? We just did, oh. The cream and vanilla. Okay, stir in the heavy cream and vanilla. Yes, that, you read ahead of me. How much vanilla? It doesn't matter, I just pour it. It says a, a t ooh, that's a lot. Good. They're probably assuming you're using a shitty vanilla extract, this is a good one. So should I? Tablespoons enough. Oh, I want to do more. <laughs> this is so potent that it like already stained the counter. So I'm trying to <laughs> put it on here. All right. Potent. Cream. Cream. Sarah Ouija finally got my one year star. Woo! Look at that rainbow sparkle. Happy to make the live. What flavors of ice cream are you making? You don't need to shake that. Oh, sorry. It's just like I have it <laughs> for some reason. I always shake my old milk in the morning. <laughs> Is it gonna blow up? Yeah, <laughs> watch out. <laughs> and then it's instantly whipped. Wouldn't that be such a better product if you just shook it and then it's instantly whipped? It just comes out as whipped cream. <laughs> yeah. If you shook that enough, it would become whipped cream. Um, to answer Sarah Ouija's question. Do you think she plays with a Ouija board? Yes. I can't, what oh, there What was your we question? <laughs> um, we are making cookies and cream ice cream to match the cookies and cremes collection. Or more specifically, you don't need to Milky White Shimmer plus Black Flake Taco. We're gonna add in nail polish. Um, how much of this? Three cup. Three cups. Three cups. So this should be two cups. I think. Simply gravity. That's one cup. Just pour. Do you have to whisk as I go? It's fine. It doesn't matter. Matters to me. Oh my god, this is so thick. This looks like butter me up. Kind of. So that was basically two cups, right? Close? That's close to two cups, yeah. So we need this. It's fine. Wait, I don't need to shake it. If we have a little under on the liquid, we're okay. Okay, so another cup. Yep. Why do you keep moving it away from me? Does anyone drink this? Like, is this a beverage to some people? Beverage? Do people drink whipping cream? Because isn't, okay, in dumb, in Turkey, dumb question. In Turkey, people drip, whip, drink whipping cream. I don't know if you're telling the truth. I'm asking the chat. <laughs> ask Hassan, they drink whipping okay, cream. Okay, yeah, I'll ask. Dumb question. This is 35% and the homogenized milk is 3.25. Are these just the same product, but this is just a higher percentage? Is that how that works? So well, it's just like more? That would make like them different more? products. Well, no. Is its base ingredient the same, but it's just a higher percentage? So like, yeah, is that the difference? Then that's it? They're all cows. Like, I don't know. You know what I mean? Or is it like, no, it's not just the percentage. It's totally different. <laughs> your dad drinks it sometimes? <laughs> your, your dad, dad drinks this? Is your dad still alive? <laughs> it's grated mashed potatoes. <laughs> oh yeah, people use it in recipes. She's asking, do people drink it straight? Okay, they said basically yes. Okay, the doctor said basically yes. Okay, thank you. See, that helps me understand. Yeah, our doctor, our local mod mod doctor procrastination. So I believe the doctor, no one else. <laughs> it all derives from cows. It's all the same. <laughs> so basically, if you just uh, concentrated this more and like removed the skin parts of it, could you create this? I don't know how milk is made. Look at that. Cookies and cream is popular. <laughs> I like when, like when they tell me this. <laughs> um, yeah, because you can click it on YouTube now. And then you can see just how close our ice cream turns out to nail polish. And then you won't know which one you can eat. That's you know how they say some milk is like fine filtered or like triple filtered? Do you, think do, that you do, means, do you think that means they put a filter like in the cow? No, I think it's like outside the cow and the cow <laughs> yeah. like... Psh, yeah. <laughs> Not in the cow, that would be too... Well, no. cows already have like four stomachs, right? I think so. I heard that. Just rumor. give them like a fifth filter stomach. No, I think it's like... Like when you make tea and you put a filter, it's after the liquid comes out and then it's filtered. Oh. Uh... <laughs> I like cows. Okay. What did you just do? You put I it put in, it the, in fridge? the fridge. Read the recipe. Okay, well I can't read and think. 
cover and refrigerate for at least two hours. It doesn't need two hours. Okay, well, Ben's an expert. You want it to just want it to come together a little bit, just make sure it's all cold, the sugar was room temp. We, we need like to kill, I don't know, 15 minutes of time. Okay, so let's, these go in the fridge, yeah. I guess. You could drink this later. Do you want to try a bit of that? No. <laughs> You set a 15 minute timer. Let's set 15 minutes. Now we clean the kitchen. Help out. Okay, don't just sit there. You don't want to try a shot of whipped cream? No, I do not want that. Whipping Thank cream? Thank you. I do not want. How come like um, vanilla extract is always in terrible packaging and it always leaks out and just stains everything? Like why? Why can't they make better? I mean, packaging? Is it because you're spilling all over the place? Look who's here. Hey Mac. Now I have ordered my mayo and I can stop asking questions. Good. Yes. Yes, uh, Milky Shimmer is mayo. Like, that does not sound appetizing. I didn't use that in the coffee. That would be weird, right? <laughs> Say hi, Zylie boy. Do you smell whipping cream? I think we're saving uh, mayo for the club sandwich collection. Oh, yeah. Someone made that. There was like a mood board for that, eh? So in case you're joining in or waking up now, we just put the ice cream mix in the fridge. It's going to sit there for 15 minutes, and then we're going to... Make it cold and icy. Put some xyler hair in there. <laughs> do you want to chop up the Oreos? Yeah, we could do that. Do you want to chop up the Oreos? <laughs> <laughs> he's so uninterested. Such a butterball. He's a he's butterman. Look at his legs. Gives no fucks. Gives no fucks. Hey. such a oh okay <laughs> never mind all right wash your hands yeah i know before anyone yells at me everyone yells at me and you're not the one eating out of my hands i eat my cat's hair all the time they eat mine it's fine <laughs> tell them how xyler licks your face in the mornings it's a new morning routine yeah, Zyler has a new morning routine. He just like, well, Menchi eats my hair. It's been like that for always. Um, it's the worst when I've straightened my hair and my hair is out. It's better if I like have my hair in a bun because then she doesn't do it as much. But I'll just hear like, because she's like getting stuck. And I'm like, no, Menchi, and I pull my hair out of her mouth. She's so stupid. But Zyler, who is smarter, has started licking my face when I'm like asleep, like in the morning. Like he'll start just to go, just like a gentle lick, not trying to eat my hair because it's not stupid, yeah. but just like a little. And I'm and he starts licking my eyeballs, and sometimes I have like cream on it, like medicated cream. So I like wake up and like no, don't lick, don't lick that. Yeah. And I'm just like, why? Sometimes it's me licking your face. No, it's it's Zyler. So it's like a surprise. Christine wakes up like, is it Ben or Zyler licking my face? That's not what happens at all. Thank you, Mai. I've been able to use you because of work. Work, it's Saturday. Glad to be here cooking for while I do my nails. Let's go. What do you have planned for the style theory show on April 25th? That was announced, <laughs> I correct? Think so. Yes, it was announced. Yes, uh, Matt, Pat, and crew are, oh my God, look, so many people are asking this. Okay, the secret's out because they announced it. But um, they're doing like a creators in fashion. That's Style Theory, aka Matt Pat, aka Game Theory Guy. Um, <laughs> Game Theory Guy. <laughs> I don't know. That's just a theory. Yeah, <laughs> just so people who don't know. Mm -hmm. um, they're doing like a fashion show that's just with brands who are made by creators or YouTubers or influencers or whatever. Yeah. So they asked us like Holo Taco, if we wanted to participate. And I was like, yes, we will take care of the nails. 
Yeah. So yeah, we are taking care of the nails and that's all you'll know for now. So make sure you zoom in really close. Like don't pay attention to, to the clothes. <laughs> Just look at the nails. <laughs> I never really thought about it before. Like for a fashion show, usually the models don't have nails on them. That's right? not true at all. <laughs> but like, how do you have one <laughs> nail look that works with a whole line of fashion? So a lot of times, I mean, like, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just making shit up. Will, thank you. Oh, DIY gel, yeah. Mm, that can hurt. Never going back and love my new nail care routine. Let's go. Congrats. You should listen to Nails some on the men. Beyonce. Why? I don't know, like the never going back. Or like I'm a we strong person. We are never, person. ever, ever getting back together. Oh, that's Taylor Swift, but whatever. Okay, as I was saying, yes, in fashion shows, I think they, they often do like press on. So if there's a change, yeah. they just like take them off. Or if there's usually still press ons, because not all models are gonna have like maybe the length that they want are all the same. So they just do the manicure once and it's something that can suit everything. So maybe it's just something monochromatic, maybe it's a boring, weird floating French tip or whatever they think is in, but they don't change the nails for every single look unless maybe they're just swapping press-ons. That's my understanding. What if we had a fashion show just for nails? Why? Like, just like this? Down a runway? <laughs> <laughs> just a macro. <laughs> no, I was thinking with actual models, but like they can wear whatever they want. Like they're just wearing sweatpants. Like whatever those people wear when they're not wearing goofy stuff, they wear in. Like if you hire a model that's being asked to wear all sorts of crazy shit no one wears in real life. But you're like, hey, you can dress like this, but we're, we're going to paint your nails differently. Wait, and so they just I got walk. Nails like this. So they walk the runway and they're like. And then they show and off then the you nails. Have to pose. Okay, pose. How would you pose to show your nails? That's a good one. Yours was this. <laughs> like that. What what is this doing? <laughs> You're like looking up. <laughs> Isn't that what swatchers do? Yes. But they go like this. Yeah, but what would be a swatcher fashion show? This is a, I'm trying to have a serious conversation here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, how could we do a fashion show for swatchers? They paint their nails and you compile it into a video. <laughs> like, That's first not of all, the same thing. swatchers don't want to get together in real life. So there's, there's like, that. Do they all hate each other? No, I mean, like, no one wants their face to be seen. No, normally. I mean, not everyone, but... Normally, you know, uh, on average, most people who do hand modeling don't do face or body modeling. Like they, or they're, that's not what they're interested they in. They can hide their faces behind a watermelon. Oh yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> My tea I, is we, cold. We, we, I feel like there's something, we gotta workshop this idea a little bit. But Style already doing something. Why well, are the, doing they're, they're doing creator apparel fashion show. Okay. I'm inspired by them. How could we do a Swatcher fashion show? I just, what is the difference between like engaging Swatchers for a collection like we already do and a fashion show that's just nails? There's no runway component. But you wouldn't see nails on the runway if it was a human walking down. <laughs> like I don't understand what he's I'm even just, asking. Where I, this is how creativity happens, Christine. Oh, yeah. Okay, hi Christine and Ben, I'm a new fan. Why? Does <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you for your content. I'm looking forward to trying. Thank you. I hope you love the collection. I never hear this. I'm a new fan. You never hear that? No. Just an old fan. I always, I hear, I'm an old fan. Oh, I loved you when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah. Like, you raised me simply. You are my mother. Mother. You can't put these in the microwave. I don't follow the rules. Oh my God. <laughs> What tea is that? It is an um, English breakfast with an inch of oat milk. I was new as of last June. There really? are people, there are people, there are new okay, people. Okay, we're, we're doing a poll. I don't believe you. Don't lie. 
when did you become a fan? <laughs> ah! uh, so many years ago. <laughs> That's very precise. Can't recall. Like, I don't fucking know. In the last... In the last year. Just during the last year. And, and then we'll do fake pen. Okay. No. <laughs> Anyone who became a fan since I stopped making, I, that should have been a category, oops, bad survey design. Since I stopped making main channel videos is more interesting to me, right? Because it's like you became a fan, I guess, during streaming or podcast era, which is way more a uh, recent evolution of Simply than the, the version of me people refer to who raised them, you know, and like taught them about Troom Troom Hacks and to stay in school and also a radial gradient. <laughs> we, did, we recently did a stream, in case you missed it, where I went through my Peely bag. So whether you're a new fan who is like, what did you used to do? Or an old fan and you know everything we used to do. Going through the Peely bag on stream, there's now a high, like a 20 minute version of that, was really fun because we did like a recall back to a number of different nail arts and videos I did since like 20. 15, 16, I think we hit 18. There's just a lot of um, memories. Just so funny. I'm gonna do that again. I love going through the Peely bag as like a more creative way to do old reactions to stuff from like eight years ago, which is crazy. Simply does nail art. There is evidence on the internet. All right. Are Shall we, we using Oreo? Are we using fake Oreos or Oreos? Fake fan or real fan? Can we use both and then you won't notice? No. We should, can I do a blind taste test on you and see if you know? That's a good idea. Wait, this can I do it on you? No, because I won't know, but you will. Why would I know? Because you have more experience in your ice cream industry palette, so I'd like to test you. I just want to become an Oreo expert. <laughs> yeah, here. Can you open them over here? Just move this to the side. Just leave it. I just want to. Okay, when did you become a fan? 86% so many years ago. Can't recall. We're all old now. 11% in the last year? Okay. What? What? 2% <laughs> are fake fans. They're actually here from Bentendo. They're chickpeas. All right, thanks, guys. <laughs> Either way, it's good to have you here. I've been enjoying streaming. It's fun. And it's, I can literally talk to you. I can respond, I can see. Say that like it's a good thing. <laughs> I was a fan when I was 13, lost touch with YouTube in general for a long time. And now, now you're back, let's go. Lost touch with YouTube. It's like a dog. Dog ran away from home. All right, can okay. you, oh, that cool. just fell apart. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm gonna quiz you. Don't put so. it back, I just touched it. It's fine, just turn around. Okay, right, right here. <laughs> okay. Is this the Blair Witch? Okay, you're gonna have to bite without looking. <laughs> Wait. Okay, turn, turn around. Is that my eyes closed? You no, know, you could open your eyes. I'm gonna put one in your mouth. Face the camera. Okay, I'm gonna put one in your mouth. Bite. Okay. That's pretty much how I remember an Oreo tasting. Okay. All right, give me the other okay, one. Okay, other, other one. one. I preferred the first. What? You preferred the fake one? Yeah, I guess so. The Oreo is more, okay, the Oreo is a little creamier, which you think would be nice, but I actually found. Oh shit, yeah, it's you, on the floor. Sorry, I, I gotta clean up. I actually preferred that flavor. You try, you try. The, you know what looks different is the color of the cream. This one is much whiter and this one is more ivory. Oh 
Oh my god. Which one is less sweet? This one. Right? Yeah. That's the thing. I think I found the Oreo yeah. a little bit more cloying. Holy shit. This is like... <laughs> um, but the filling in this is still sweet. But the cookie is a little less sweet, which I actually prefer. It reminds me more so. of like Girl Guides. Like the cookie part of this. I, I, think, I think you're right. Which I prefer. Nathan! $20. Is that for Ben? It's your allowance. Is that the kid <laughs> I played with last night? I don't know. Is it a name Nathan? Thank you, Nathan. I found out about Holo Taco in July 2020. You did? And discovered this channel pretty soon after. That's so cool. I forgot that, yes, I guess Holo Taco could be a gateway to my drug. Simply drug. Okay, I, I have to wipe the floor. Because there's Oreo on it. Zyler, Zyler will get no, that. No, and I don't want Zyler. So we're using non-Oreos. Yeah, let's do it. We both prefer them. What do I do with my Super Mario Oreos? Give them back to your brother. They're in trash. Give them back to my brother. Wait, isn't... Show them the label. Isn't that like limited edition or whatever? It's a limited edition. The, the Oreos are trying to get me with FOMO. Oreo FOMO! I can't get it back in the thing. I want to keep the packaging. It won't go back in. Sorry. There you go. Wanna put it in a bag? Okay, look at this. Limited edition Super Mario Oreos. Fake. No, these are fake. We like the fake ones. Fake better. ones are from Whole Foods. Yeah. And is, is that here. Whole Foods brand? Yes, it is 365. That's how many days are in a year. Whole Foods Market chocolate sandwich cremes. Cremes. They literally write cremes. See, just like me. Biscuit à la crème au chocolat. Delicious. Okay, this is the technical description. We were debating this with the Holo Taco team because I was like, what the fuck is an Oreo without cookie. calling it an Oreo? Like, I was genuinely confused. Is it a cookie crumble? That's what we ultimately landed on, landed on when we were trying to describe the black flake topper. So this says delicious cane sugar frosting sandwiched between two crunchy chocolate flavored cookies. If you saw that sentence, are you like, I know exactly what that is? <laughs> like, no. <laughs> you need the picture, right? Peanut free. Cool. Why is this packaging, did they print over this? <gasps> they made a mistake. Look, there's like, there's a, this is a sticker. They covered it up. What are they trying to hide? Can you stop <laughs> bleeding all over the No, I just, look. They fucked up. They're trying to recycle the packaging. They like recycling. <laughs> it's peanut free. That's, uh, yes, I just said that. You want to do this? It's Christine's money. Again? And I'm not a kid. I'm turning 28. I'm old. Okay. Got him. Got him, Nathan. <laughs> Thank you, Nathan. I will spend it not on Ben. I will buy myself something that Ben will not enjoy. <laughs> I'll buy myself, like, Swarovski earrings. <laughs> don't care. Is that actually the chatter from your stream? No. No. Okay. I don't know. What is happening? Is Nathan your other boyfriend? I don't know. <laughs> Could be a fake name. <laughs> okay, can I, can I smash? Not smash, chop. What? You're chopping. You gonna do it? I thought we were like hammer. You thought we were hammer? <laughs> Getting hammered <laughs> all the time. No, no, you just chop them up. Okay, you show me since you're the professional. It just went everywhere. <laughs> no, it didn't. You wanna just do this? But why do that when you could do this? Because no. you just want you want big you want Oreo chunks in here, right? Should we be doing it in a bag? No, we'll put it in a bowl. In a bowl? Yeah. 
Because we want it in the freezer so they're cold when they go the in. The Oreos should be cold. The fake Oreos. <laughs> Am I speaking an alien language? <laughs> no, I'm just trying to confirm. So these should be cold and large. <laughs> so do you need a glass bowl, sir? Sir. I need some sort of container, yeah. Will this suffice, sir? Uh, yeah, it's plenty. I actually don't so know how much th that's we That's quite large. We can make it smaller. I just okay. can't make it bigger once I've cut it. You know? I understand that logic. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> yes. Just like a flake. If you cut up a flake in a nail polish, you can't make it larger. But over time, you know, with, with batch sizes, there is variation in flakes. So we're going to get some variation in the sizes of the Oreos, even if you're trying to cut them up larger. I understand. We could glue them back together if you really wanted. With what kind of glue? Just the cream paste. But they just get like tossed in ice cream. How many Oreos, fake Oreos, do we need? This is probably enough. How many not Oreos? How many? Do not? you know how many that was? That one's too big. You're right, some pieces are too big. This one. Which one? <laughs> there you go. No, you put that in a bowl. <laughs> oh, no, they can't see. There you go. Don't spill. No. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ben! That was like a fucking challenge. That's like me when I try and pour out my smoothie and it's too thick and it just goes over. <laughs> ah! Okay. Some of those are still pretty big. No, careful, I'm right here. <laughs> I'm a hand model. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's plenty of Oreo, right? Yeah, probably. I think smashing would be fine. Uh, you, you want some bigger chunks though. You don't want it to turn into like powder, right? Will it get more choppy choppy in here? Like does the mechanism like kind of cut That's it That's the up? thing, I feel like they'll break a little bit more once you're adding them as well. Shout out to muffins and other baked goods. <laughs> shout out to the muffins, shout out to the croissants. Clayton just says muffins, but I'll give it, I'll say one for croissants, like baguettes, uh, quiche. No, actually, I, hate, I hate quiche. Banana chocolate chip muffin with little banana chips on top. But you don't like banana chips. I've bought them before. I only like them if they're embedded in the top of a muffin. Okay. Um, what else can we shout out? A shout out to the blueberry danishes and the raspberry white chocolate scones. <laughs> and the overnight oats. What other breakfast? Katie's eating it right now. Where'd you what? get it, Katie? A banana chocolate chip muffin with banana chips on top. Nathan's got adult money. I cosplay an adult. <laughs> hey, Nathan, you're- Is that your parents' credit card? <laughs> you're really showing us how adult you are. Oh yeah, you're gonna make <laughs> daddy mad. You're gonna show me. <laughs> make daddy mad. I wish I had that opportunity <laughs> as a child. Is that, is that crazy? I kind of feel like I never had that experience of, never had of being a kid and being able to use my parents' credit card for like random things and then Are you, Is that what you're accusing Nathan of doing? No, just hypothetically. <laughs> I'm just saying like, like we didn't have that because that wasn't a thing online yet, you know? And you, you, you couldn't just take your parents' credit card to the store because that's back when they literally looked at the name and they were like, you're not this person. <laughs> so that was not really common. You think it's common now? No, not to take your parents' credit card to the store, but to use it online for whatever services. Because oh, like like, if you have to pay for apps, and like so they link it up. Like you're logged into your yeah. parents' iTunes account, and then you yeah, just buy like, all the oh, jelly yeah. beans it, on Candy Crush. Yeah, exactly. Because now you you technically do need more of like a payment plan for things that they need you to have, like access to the cell phone data or whatever it is. But then through that, it's like a gateway to do way more things with, where we never really had that gateway. Like I had to ask, I'm like, I need this for this, can you do this? I'm pretty sure that's how most people still live. Is it? I don't know. I feel like there's way more opportunity for kids just to like do things and their parents don't know, <laughs> right? 
Is that wrong? I don't know. Someone with children, tell me. <laughs> you think children are just stealing from their parents? Yeah, but sometimes they don't even know because when you buy an app or do things like Thank you, you're Tiffany. like, yes, sure, right? Thank you, Devin, for the Menchie Gang. We're going to see you tomorrow. Menchie Gang, Menchie Gang, Menchie Gang, Menchie Gang. That was Tiffany Ferg. No, it wasn't. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't say. Just Tiffa. Tiffany R. <laughs> oh, Tiffany Ferg. In banking, we call that friendly fraud. That's. That's cool. So, uh, Michelle, could, do you have an opinion? Is Nathan committing fraud? Parental controls and passwords are required on my kids' devices. As Gen Z, I can confirm there are some kids that did that. Not that many, but there were for sure at my school. That's what parental controls are for. I don't even know where those are. Good thing I don't have kids, but like, I'm like, what is a parental control? Well, I have some parental controls on the apps, so you can't watch some shows that are a little- Shut up. <laughs> yeah. Nathan! Lol, I'm real. I'm not going to promote myself on your line. <laughs> oh yes, definitely not promoting themselves but what currently is this? at all. Is this like a, a scam? Like some sort of bot I don't understand? I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> what is, wait, what's the scam? I don't know. The parents are being scammed. <laughs> Who's being scammed? Their here? parents. <laughs> Nathan, chill. We know your dad's rich. <laughs> Daddy, chill. Daddy! Oh my god. The only thing I ever stole from my parents were snacks. That's it? You didn't steal alcohol? Nathan, I don't, I don't think you actually have money. Don't, that you're gonna make him spend more. <laughs> $10, okay. Nathan. Okay, you have money. <laughs> your your parents are broke. Prove, prove me wrong. <laughs> Can you block someone from giving money? No, you tried that once. Didn't you try and delete someone's super chat or like block them? But it didn't matter. You can delete the message. The message, but not the money. But you can't. You can't refund. You no. can't refund people or like stop them from donating, I think, right? Maybe we, maybe we should ask you two for that feature. I don't think they want that We'll call feature. it the Nathan rule. <laughs> <laughs> the Nathan act. <laughs> All right, you want to make ice cream? Yeah. Let's make ice cream. Look at these Oreos. Oreo check. Daddy, chill. Are you mm, ready? Those are big chunks. We gotta go quick. I need your help. Quick? Why? So we wanna keep it cold. I need okay. you to get the cylinder out of the freezer. Put it in. Put it in. Is All that... right. Now put this in. I think that's how that works. I don't know. I can't remember. Because this is just going to screw on. This will have to go in this way, right? Is that the right way? I don't want to see anyone either, latte manis. Okay. I'll need you to put that on quickly after I pour it in. And you're ready to turn it on, right? Is it on? No. I don't know. Is the light on? No. Is the clock on? No. Did you go to sleep? Ah! It's on. All right, so we're gonna press ice cream when we're ready, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna pour it in. And then I do this, and then I press ice cream? Yeah. <laughs> I just did the face jump <laughs> by accident. Okay, press it up. No, you said put this on. Ice cream, press ice press cream. Press ice cream. Start. What about a cover? Cover your eyes. It's it's icing. It's icing. It's creaming. If you put it closer, can they see? No. I... We lost our macro camera. That's okay. So this is time to clean.
potatoes in the fridge or freezer. We just want them to be cold when they go in so they don't melt the ice cream more. So this says 29 minutes, is that what that says? 24, 24 minutes. What happened to the macro camera? Nothing, but we just didn't want to set it up. <laughs> it's just uh, more annoying on this computer to have two ports that feed video and it always breaks. I don't know. How loud is this for people? Yeah, is this loud? I could move it to the side, yeah. So, wait, Ben, how long did you say? 24 say? minutes. 24 minutes? Doom, doom. Like Jack Bauer? 24. Alicia Cuthbert. It's not that loud, they say. Okay, cool. It's just a light humming. This collection and this stream is really making me want ice cream. That's the goal. It's too early for ice cream. Yeah, but you make it in the morning and you eat it at night. I could buy ice cream faster. We'll go, Megan. Fuck you, Megan. Go spend all your money on buying ice cream. Instead, you could buy an ice cream maker for like ninety dollars and <laughs> go through the trouble of making it. Much quieter than the chocolate fountain. Yeah. And hey, we fixed our sink. Yeah, there's no demons in it anymore. It's kind of sad. I miss them. I have Oreo ice cream cones. Oh, speaking of ice cream cones. Tyler. We got ice cream cones too. Wasn't sure what to get. So Ben got mini cones for all the babies in the chat and waffle cones for the adults. And I think this is gonna come out more like soft serve at first. That's what expert Ben said. So it won't last in a cone really for that long, but after it sits in the freezer for like six hours, then it'll be like ice, ice baby. <laughs> the one I just washed. Do you wanna pick one then? I don't know what. You, you pick. Um, but yeah, I think we'll be able to make a quasi cone. Do you want a waffle cone or a baby cone? A mini gobelet. Mini gobelet. Like or a cone gaufre. Quel un tu veux? Dis-moi en chat. Oh, a cat. I said a cat. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just watch. Seems to be cleaned, yeah. You want a BB cone? BB? Xyler is lurking. He can smell the whipping cream. He's like, give me that. I want to see how big they are. How many are these, you know? It's a mini baby. It's a 40 pound ice cream cone. Oh my god, they're so small. <laughs> Look, they're like this big. <laughs> it's literally the size of your mouth. Like you could fit this, this whole thing in your mouth. Nathan, Nathan just paid 20 bucks for a baby cone and I'm not done yet. <laughs> Ben is very spicy today. Ben, stop egging him on or I will have to ask you to leave. Nathan! I'm calling your mother. <laughs> Where's the place to Fill them with shots? What? Oh, fill them all and do ice cream shots? That's not good. I don't want to do that. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. Uh, 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 Look at this. Woo! 
Okay, that is much bigger. I was gonna compare the cone sizes so you can pick which one you want. I bet Nathan couldn't afford nice cones like this. I think he, his parents could. How are the donkeys doing? They're doing great. I'm gonna visit them. I got visitation in the, the spring. Oh, they're so small. Yeah, that was like you could put the whole thing in. That <laughs> tastes bad. Yeah, the waffle cones always taste better. Do you have the number to heaven? Give it to me now. What is, is that a trick question? I only have the number to hell, actually. Sorry, I only have access to uh, down under. What are you doing? That's getting a little weird. <laughs> okay, just stop. Sorry, I only got access to hell here. Okay, I don't have an H in my name, did you notice? Look, it can literally eat it. Where'd it go? Where'd the baby go? The mother cone ate the baby cone. Do you want another one? Did it actually disappear? Yeah. Where'd it go? It's like a magic trick. <laughs> Wait, wait. Hold this. <laughs> You're supposed to catch me. <laughs> Don't tell me that. Okay. <laughs> Close. No! Here. No! <laughs> it's too, like, when it goes to the side, it doesn't work. Woo! Who am I? Bring me your Nathans. I'm an Olympic. <laughs> Winner. Who is this? I don't know. Pretend I'm a green lady. Statue of Liberty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am from New York. <laughs> what do they do there? Do you remember drumsticks? Yes. There'd be like a pool Thank of you, chocolate Mountain. at the bottom. Yes. That was the and best part. And then you part. would just eat it. Uh-oh, I think we got it shit on the floor. <laughs> we should clean up before Zyler eats it. No! <laughs> then Georgia, Georgia, yeah, Georgia. What's that? A really famous song. <laughs> From is that the anthem for like the state the of Georgia? The whole day through. <laughs> I have no idea. Georgia on my mind. By who? Who sings this song? Ray Charles? <laughs> Nathan, stop! <laughs> I don't know if you're actually an orphan, but it's awkward <laughs> if you are. This chat is toxic? What's, no one's toxic, relax. <laughs> Everybody chill. We're making ice cream. We're just chilling. We're vibing, it's, I was gonna say it's midnight. It's the afternoon, it's noon on a Saturday. We're just hanging out, we're making ice cream, we're making a mess in the kitchen. Zyler, um, do not be licking the floors. And uh, yeah, you know, it's gonna be delicious. Yeah. <laughs> More saxophone. Do you wanna play the saxophone? I don't know what song it is. <laughs> oh no. Oh, wait, 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 no, I have a better idea. 
Turning into ice cream. Good. That was cool. The sound is back. Yeah. See? Now, new people, the 11%, may not know this, but I learned that skill at camp. <laughs> I am a highly skilled lady. <laughs> You're upsetting Zyler? No, he's great. That's how we speak to each other. Um, yeah, if you say the word girl, with your mouth closed and through your tongue, I don't know how to describe it. Um, I could do it with my mouth closed, but I was taught it like this. Yeah, women in STEM. That's how you do it normally. And then when you get really good, you just shut your mouth. I'm a ventriloquist, a voice actor. I'm also ambidextrous, but I kind of lost that skill because I stopped writing with my uh, left hand. But I can paint both hands. So even if you're ambidextrous, you still have to keep doing it or else you kind of lose it. So I'm still better with my right hand. But yeah, there you go. Those are all my talents. <laughs> Are you a witch? Yes. Actually, I'm a witch. I, I don't drown. Are you Madonna? <laughs> it's a great skill. It's Honestly, it's at the top of my resume. Yeah. I hate that sound too, Uma. Listen to Uma. Well, you just hate me because I'm so talented, so... He hate me. <laughs> he hate me. <laughs> How much longer? 12 minutes. Favorite elementary school memory. So I was just going through my files and I found something I wrote in like, I think it was high school, not elementary. And it was about crack cocaine. It was like a warning pamphlet about why it's bad for you. And I sent it to my sister and she laughed so hard. Cause you had to, for the assignment, you had to pretend it was like, a teen info magazine or something like I guess that was the assignment I still I took a picture of it um, here I'll show you because the graphic design was just immaculate I should try and bring it up but uh, okay so that was the cover it says teen info now and then it was like You can't read it, but just, just so you can see aesthetically what it is, it was just like, <laughs> it said Teen Info Now by Christine, uh, 2003, how old was I? Someone Google that. I used Word Out Art, I think it was Corel Word Perfect was the application, and it said, how is crack taken? <laughs> this was obviously for like health class, okay? Just in my defense. We were tasked with this in 2003. The fonts are incredible. It says, how is crack taken? And it tells you how, and then it says, crack is illegal in very cool font. <laughs> Many ignore the fact that drugs are illegal. And yes, crack is <laughs> illegal. <laughs> Just in case you didn't know. Um, it first became illegal in 1914 in the U.S. and soon after that it became illegal in Canada. Things you needed to know. <laughs> Were your teachers concerned about this? <laughs> no, they told us to do, like, they, they probably said pick a drug and, like, write a teen information <laughs> article about it. So I picked crack. Crack is bad! That's what it says. I, I listed the, the street names so you weren't confused. A few of the most common are base, bazooka, blast, coke, <laughs> candy, ice, rocks, and sugar. <laughs> Thank you, Maya. I Thanks, hope that Maya. you're doing better. I'm getting back to painting. P 
People forget it's illegal, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to post this. Like, I'll post it on my Snapchat or something. Okay, here, I'll do it right now so you can just look at it. No. There's nothing identifying me except my name. <laughs> Found this gem. Okay, it's on Snapchat. In case you weren't sure. <laughs> Crack is illegal. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Okay, I was a child too. Once. Okay, there. So now you can appreciate my my art. And looking at it now, having improved upon my um, graphic design skills, let's say, it's like, why did I have a background that had a bunch of words on it and then put words on top of it? Like, it's really bad. Like, it's so bad. <laughs> Anyways, you know, I'm just trying to make everyone else feel better that we all did weird things. Mine was writing, writing about crack a lot as a, as a young person. <laughs> um, yep, so in case you didn't know, there's some myths and facts in there you can read on your own time to get informed. Um, what else is interesting? Um, psychological effects of crack may involve loss of interest in Why are we still appearance. talking about crack? I don't know, it was interesting. <laughs> I love word art from the 2000s. It's so graphic design is my passion. Look on my Snapchat and tell me what you think. How, how does it look? Looks looks creamy. Is it solidifying? Are you handling this this uh, handing this pamphlet out to everyone? Yes, it's on my Snapchat. Simply no logic without the L. It's creaming, but it doesn't look like it's totally done. It still looks kind of wet. How much is left? I don't know. Seven minutes left. We need to put the Oreos in at like the last minute. Okay. Vod is going to be in the yellow. What are you talking about? This is just good information. Educational materials are allowed. <laughs> I was going to see. I was going to try crack until I read your pamphlet. Thank you, Laura. That's that's what I did it for in high school. <laughs> Thank you, Doe. I'm back after working out for 233, 233 days and getting a boyfriend. What? Okay. <laughs> what? And get, okay. Oh, welcome back <laughs> to you and your boyfriend. You need to stop working out for 233 days to see if your boyfriend still loves you, though. I think they just meant working. But... <laughs> Can I ask where is Menti? She's in the chair right there trying to sleep, but we're making noise. So. Oh, it's getting thick. It's getting thick. Can you see it? She did. Take the off. This? Yeah. Check it out. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Delicious. All right. Soon. Soon we'll do the Oreos. Soon, yes. Oh, that was Dominic. Welcome, Dominic. Oh, yes. It's Sorry, it just said D. I think he would still encourage me to work out since it's for health reasons. Healthy! Did you know that being healthy is good? <laughs> and don't you crack. <laughs> I'm a turn nail art. I had to do a similar assignment in health class, but for STDs. Oh, Talk good. about Google trauma, right? I feel like our, our age group always did these assignments. They're like, pick a drug, pick an STD, and now study it and write me like some creative essay I on it. I don't remember doing that. Never for health class? No. 
Did you pay attention? Nope. Do you, what did you do in health class other than the gym bullshit? I don't remember health class. What? Thank you, Leah, for the gifted. Thank you, gang. What did you do in health class? Don't remember anything. No assignments. I must have missed it. Well, someone didn't learn about the bad effects of drugs. I didn't learn about crack until I was like 29. What? <laughs> you picked crack, I picked heroin. Oh, I did heroin too later. <laughs> I picked chlamydia. <laughs> I mean, right? Everyone did assignments like this except I you. don't remember this okay, at ben all. Ben just doesn't remember. He did not pay attention. Did you even go to school? No, I was homeschooled. Where you got the pics for your Teen Info magazine? I probably got them on Google. I was probably Googling, like, what is crap? <laughs> this is close Save to done. image. Three minutes. Three minutes. <laughs> How does it look? Christine makes a statement to start a discussion of relatability, and Ben just has to disagree. <laughs> I learned about crack from Christine. Because of my teen info now. I know. I, I, when I read your thing, that was the first time I realized crack was bad. You're welcome. <laughs> I do good for the people. Proud of myself. All right, you paying attention? Three minutes. Three minutes. Oh, it's on the sides. Is that bad? It's getting thick. It's almost done. It's exploding. It's like on the side, see? We probably filled it up a little too much. Look at this frosted Oreo bowl. It's very cold. Don't warm it up. <laughs> you do this, you, you do something. Yeah! Do it, do it, do it. How many do I put in at once? All of them? All of it. Let's go, Oreo. Okay. Yeah. Will it? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you having such a hard time? Ah! No. Oh my god. Hold no. the bowl. No, but it's not going in. It needs like a stick, like a tamper. Like It'll a... go in. Okay, wait. You gotta wait. Okay. I need a clearance. I need a clear path in. Why are you holding the bowl like that? Because I'm cold. Ah! It's not that cold. It's literally freezing. Why are you being so dramatic? I'm, it's cold. It's a bowl. Because it's cold. Hold it. No, no, no. Hold the bowl. No. <laughs> just hold it. It hurts. Why are you so mean? I'm just really cold. Okay, do we need to like stab it down or? No, no. it's going. It's oh, no, no, stop, stop, no, stop, 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 no. stop, stop, stop. <laughs> it stop. All right, get our container, get the frozen what, what container. container. You won't be able to touch it. Ah. Okay, get a spatula. <laughs> where? That's not where we're getting no. spatulas. This spatula? Yeah. All right, pull this out. Okay. Dairy Queen, get fucked. All right, we gotta act fast. Respectfully. <laughs> I love Dairy Queen. <laughs> you want to? Let me just it. take it. Okay, okay. Ah! <laughs> Why are you screaming? <laughs> I don't know. This is all very exciting and stimulating. <laughs> What's going on? This ice cream is crazy. All right, it's still pretty soft. We're gonna need to put it in the freezer. Woo! Okay, and then we, we put it in here. So can we have a, a mini cone or you want to freeze it for a well, little bit? I think we should freeze it. Okay, Ben says we have to freeze it. That means we have to we have to talk okay. again. Could you use a spatula? Here. here. My neck, my back. Hey, hey, my... hey, please. I need you to actually focus for a second. Please. Okay, Chatter said my neck, my back, my ice cream, and my crack. <laughs> that was funny. Do you know how to use a spatula? <laughs> That's not how you use no. a spatula. <laughs> do with two hands. <laughs> okay, that's enough. You can leave some in here. <laughs> Why are you crying? 
<laughs> There's no crying in ice cream. <laughs> I don't think I'm doing it right. <laughs> it's not like a canoe. <laughs> what are you paddling? <laughs> Stop, you're not doing anything. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Why are you so helpless? <laughs> God. Okay, is that good? Is it good? Okay, put it in the freezer. Put it in the freezer! <laughs> <laughs> I learned how to canoe at camp, but I didn't learn how to spatula. I'm sorry. He's so disappointed. Ben is so dis disappointed! He don't know. Oh, my tears. Don't cry, we're having ice cream. You stepped in the ice cream. <laughs> I stepped in the ice cream? Yeah. Here, this will make you feel better. You gotta cheers. Okay. Look at this, it's so cute. Is there enough like Oreo chunks? I don't know if it made it to the bottom. Can't get it off Look at screen. that. Cookies and creams. Cookies and creams, singular. <laughs> is that the ice cream name? You are all so beautiful. That is too sentimental. What is with the weird super chats today? No, that was Dominic. Okay. Cheers. Oh shit. Too much vanilla. Oh no, I like that. That actually tastes good, why? Sugar. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> mmm, but it's like a nice... You think it's too much vanilla? Yeah. Why? It's a little too much vanilla. I don't get that at all. I actually think it could be more vanilla-y. Really? Yeah, because it's so like white. It's not yellowy tinted. <laughs> Right? Oftentimes if you see it slightly yellowy tinted, then there's like more vanilla or food coloring. Usually the yellow tint is from eggs, more of a creamy, like a custard mm. base. Mmm. <clears throat> we did that. Yes. Cookies and creams. Now I'm eating my nails. There's still quite a bit in Look, here. Look, it literally matches. Thumbs up. We all scram for ice cream. Chaos was turned up at 1.5. Yeah. Watch me on speed level two. There's still quite a bit in here. Just eat it out of this. <laughs> <clears throat> you scream, I scream, we all scream for ice cream. Okay, success. It's too early for ice cream though. Do we have any food? No, but we have ice cream. Add some salt. Should we have added salt? Yeah. I don't really like the cone, but I like the ice cream. <clears throat> The cookies are a little salty. That is true. That is true. The, the, the fake Oreos are a little bit salty, so I feel like that added a nice touch. Do we have another special? Yep, the Rosanna no pants. That's, why would I use this spatula? Because it's cute. It's tiny. I don't no, use it. it. It's so cute. I can't use it's it. It's cookie. too small. It's a cookie. I can't. It's just tiny. Okay, you just hold it. Hold it and look pretty, he said. Love these chaotic streams. So what's chaotic? We're just here being normal. It's just Saturday. <laughs> Thank you for the browns and black flaky. Love different colors other than the pink and purple. Thank you, yes, absolutely. Here, Here, I'll, I'll hide the pink and purple. Now this is more like ice go. cream. This is the stuff that froze at the bottom. Oh shit, can you make here, put it in here. Make a real cone. Yeah. And then, you should put a real, you should put an Oreo on top. <laughs> put a real one. <laughs> do this, do this. We need presentation. Nah. It, presentation is important. I learned that in high school for all my assignments. Your crack assignments? <laughs> yeah. Ready? There you go. Oh, yes. Yes. Look at that. We made this. You're jealous. You screaming for this. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know how to eat ice cream. <laughs> you don't know how to eat ice cream? 
No. <laughs> I always get confused. Like, do you lick it or do you bite it? I feel like I usually bite it. I'm more of a biter. Here, how do you eat ice cream? Show, show the class. Well, it depends. Is it just leaking over the side? Yeah. So you lick and then you bit it. You got it. How do you eat ice cream with a mustache? Is there no way to eat ice cream with a mustache without getting it in your mustache? Like a baby bird. Like <laughs> that's like, okay. <laughs> Let us have a lick. We're sharing. Cooties. <laughs> Cooties in chat, we, make it focus. They need a close up. There you go. It's too bright. Mmm, delishy. You want more? <sighs> Hey, who am I? Statue the statue of, of ice, cream. ice cream. Bring me your Oreo bits, your Reese's pieces, your score bits. I pledge allegiance to the cookies and Bring cream. Bring me your Tahitian vanilla beans, your Madagascar bur bourbon vanilla extract. In ice cream we trust. Your kosher salt. Is that Turkish ice cream? Have you ever seen the Turkish ice cream treat trick? I'm an ice cream patriot. You just doubled up. What about others? Think of the people. <laughs> How many cones can you put in there? What the fuck is this, Ben? Ben! You want ice cream? Uh, ice cream? Dairy Queen. <laughs> Does this pass the Dairy Queen test? It's too early for ice cream. Do it over your head. Does it pass the Dairy Queen test? Well, no, it's in a... It's so wet. Yeah. Here's your blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it really look like an impressed cat? <laughs> All right, could you end the stream? Have you been to Turkey? No. I have. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> All right, chat. Oh, look, someone said, as Turkish, I can say, Good job, Ben. This is how we do the ice cream trick. There you go. Evet. Okay, I got to clean up on aisle seven uh, before the cats lick the cream, because they will love this too much. It's just not appropriate. Anyways, Jen, if you're not watching, she never watches my streams. Um, <laughs> we have ice cream for her. <laughs> and your brother, and any other people I know in real life, which is very few, who would, <laughs> would like some ice cream. All right, no, it can't be over already? It doesn't take that long to... It says, end it. <laughs> <laughs> end it now. It doesn't take that long to make ice cream, and I think we need real food, so we're, we're gonna make smoothies now. Do you want some hummus? No. Love you, Ben. Sorry I called you out. Don't be sorry. Do it again. Who called me out? A Katie. Kate. Figures. All right, everybody watch curling today, 4 p.m. Eastern time. Okay, no, I'm- um, Home in against the winner of uh, Sweden and Korea. Tied at three in the ninth end. Menchi Gang, I'll see you tomorrow <laughs> at 11 a.m. Eastern for our monthly members only. Thank you to all the gifters in the chat. And yeah, we will have a follow-up for you on what we discussed last time. So we'll, we will do that. And uh, shout out to the mods. Thank you, mods. Thank you, members. Thank you, everyone who let us know in the comments after this is over if you also made ice cream or if you at least bought some and ate some. And then may your manis match your meals. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see y'all later. Bye. <laughs>